Good morning. Today we were going to go on the uh, Fuerte Caprone Trail. It's uh, also in the Guanica Dry Forest. It's up to a uh, hike up to a uh, sort of a castle that overlooks the bay. And uh, GPS uh, took us to this area here. You know, a road which is closed because of a uh, landslide area destabilization, uh, principally because of a of a uh, earthquake here I think in 2019 that was super super damaging to the Guanica area and uh, even right from here beside it you can see you know some of the cracks here in in this structure you know and the big X on it you know which uh, and and you see over here the big X on uh, this house over here you know that was damaged but uh, you know so we are going to uh, reroute ourselves and um, we're going to actually start at the at the base at the uh, at the ocean, it's a little shorter hike up to, you know, up to the fort, uh, but then we'll continue hiking up from there to get our uh, our distance in. But uh, it should be interesting. Lisa's uh, recalculating how to get get down to the ocean to the uh, show head from the other side. But the interesting start to the day here so far. All right, we're uh, made it to the other show head, and uh, off we go. It's already super hot. It's, uh, it's uh, one of the clearest days. Uh, we've hiked here so far. At least so, it's breezy though. Yep, at least it's breezy. So uh, we're off. Here's the, here's the trail. To the Fuerte Capron. Capron. Here's a looking out over the bay in the Caribbean. And there's Lisa. Wow, this is just beautiful here. Only four or five minutes up the, the trail here. Well, this is really interesting. We're seeing just a series of these cables that are including the little critter here. It's the guard salamander. But uh, I can't really tell what these are designed to hold up. But they're like every... Every like 12 feet. Yeah, every like 12 feet or so. Are they like holding up? <laughs> They holding up this mountain? I mean, what the heck? I don't know what's down there. It's really, really intriguing. Here's one right into the base, but we don't really see anything. It's, it's interesting. Oh, I wonder if they're associated with the power line here. I wonder if there's a power, I don't know, if there's directly a power line directly overhead. Oh, I wonder if they're related to that. All pure speculation here. But the view overlooking Guanica and the bay here. Well, this is a, That's the road we just came up. It's right next to this. Yeah, this is just a amazing bay. All right, on to the Fuerte. Oh, and there's another hill. And there's some signs that we're getting close to the fort. Woo, look at these views. Wow. For the mountains, for those of you who don't think that Puerto Rico has mountains, that's the bay. That's the town of um, Guanica down there. Yeah, that's the town of Guanica. Pretty much epicenter of a recent earthquake out here in the Caribbean. And here's the fort. Shockingly, there's no signs tell you when and why this was constructed, but uh, nonetheless, here it is. And up we go, winding around, up to the fort. One other people up here on the trail. Up to the top here. Already here. Uh, check out the views and town of Guanica. Ooh, look out the bay. Some bluffs overlooking the bay. It's the Caribbean here. Right over the side. It's not very big, but uh, now it served its purpose, and uh, we'll have to do a little research and figure out when and why this was constructed here. But, definitely, uh, definitely has a commanding view of, of uh, 
of this bay. And a lot of people have come here and left their name yeah. on the stone. So I missed my shot. Oh, we're gonna go in the lower level here. So it was about um, three quarters of a mile, maybe 30 minutes to the uh, to the Fuerte, to the fort, and uh, we uh, we added on to that. Uh, I don't know, maybe another four miles, four plus miles. Um, so it was a really nice day for us. Yep. Certainly recommend uh, certainly recommend coming through this hike. You know, particularly from from the um, you know the, the closer parking lot. So anyhow. Yeah, and I mean you can come and just go see the fort and then not keep going. If you decide to keep going, then that's just giving you a nice workout. It's not particularly scenic. It's fine, but there's nothing special about it. But still, we just did five and a half or six miles, and I feel great. So it was wonderful, and the the fort, the castle, was really cool. Yeah. So until then, may your suitcase always be messy, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to find out about our next exciting adventure. Hasta luego!